What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode of How to Thursday, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Color Zones module in Darktable. And for this tutorial, I'm using two pictures. The first picture is a picture you guys already know, it's the girl in a car. Uh, in my last tutorial or a couple of tutorials back, I changed the color of the car from yellow to red using the color mixer module and now I'm going to show you guys how to do that using the color zones module. And the same goes for this picture, this is a very vibrant and very colorful picture. Uh, so I chose this one because it's got a lot of colors for me to work with. So I'm going to show you guys in a bit how that works. First we are going to start with this picture right here. Lightroom has the uh, HSL which is the U saturation and lightness module or thing that you can use. Darktable has the lightness, saturation and U inside the color zones module. And right now I'm going to show you guys how it works. I took the liberty to already draw a mask uh, which you can see right here. And that means it'll only focus on the yellow in the car. And the U basically means that you can change the color. Now if you see these points over here, uh, you can drag them up and you can drag them down. Nothing is happening a lot. You saw the light of the car changing. I'm going to show you guys why it is in a minute. What you can do is you can use the mouse scroll button and pull it towards you and then the circle becomes bigger and as you can see more of this is moving and if you push it away from you so you scroll the mouse button away from you it becomes narrower and as you can see the curve is a little bit more narrow. Now what we need to do is we need to identify this color in the color zones module. So I'm going to use the color picker, I'm going to press inside the car and now it shows me that the car's color is based over here. And what I want to do is I want to bring in this point right here straight on the line and I want to bring in this point even closer and I already made it the smallest I can with scrolling the mouse button away from me. Now watch what happens to the car if I drag this one up, there you have it, the car becomes blue like and as you can see there's still a bit of yellow over here so I'm going to increase the curve a little bit to make sure that I've got a bigger area to work with and now the car is green. If I drag it downwards you see that it becomes a little bit more reddish and it becomes pink over here and that's how you can easily change the color of a car if you want to do it exactly or a little bit more specific uh, what you can do is go to the saturation module or well the saturation menu actually and then drag this point onto the line drag this point in and now you can increase the saturation to make it become more red to expand this or you can decrease it to make the car more gray like and that's how you can use the color zones module to change one specific color and to leave everything as is i won't go into details of the lightness uh, and you can change it over here as well i'll explain it to you guys some other time right now this is all i wanted to do so let's go to the next picture and for this picture, let's say we want to get rid of the greens. Uh, we could use a parametric mask, but we're only going to use the color zones right now. So let's just scan the area first to see where the green is at. It's located over here. Now let me see where this is. There you go. This is as well. So I'm going to drag these points downwards. And like I said, if you want to increase or decrease the circle, just scroll away from you or scroll towards you. And now as you can see the greens are gone or basically gone and now what's left is the blues, the magentas, the reds and the oranges and the yellows. And let's say I want to decrease the saturation of the reds a little bit. I'm going to drag this point to the side, drag it down a little bit to make it a little bit more soft and a little bit more even with the background. And now the blue is standing out, the cool colors are. And this is how you target one color specifically. And I just think it works great. And that's it. That's how you use the color zones module in Darktable. It's a very powerful tool. 
Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this tutorial and if you're going to use the color zones module. And there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei! Thank <laughs> you.